So about a year and a half ago, um, I, had a, I had a presentation on, um, on creating static websites, you know, the good old static website that, that requires basically zero maintenance. Um, and I ach achieved that using a Python package called Pelican, Pelican, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this static page generator um, is basically done so in a following manner. So you have a, a folder structure where you have your content and your templates and your themes and whatnot. And you run this through a, a, a basically a program and it outputs uh, a generated website that you upload using FTP or, or host it anywhere else you're used to hosting it. So uh, you have a template for generating pages, you have content, and when you run the, uh, the content and its uh, parameters through a program called Pelican, uh, you, get a, you get an output folder, whatever you wanna call it. And this is the folder that you upload to your website and serve it as a static content. Um, so this is how I used, used to do it. So I would take this output and I would upload it to an FTP site. And this works, but it's a lot of manual work as you can imagine. Um, what I did is, you've probably heard of GitHub pages. Uh, this is where you can turn any GitHub repo into a static website. You basically tell it to serve this content as a website and you get a fancy link. Um, and basically that's it. And the upside is that you can use Git to version control all the, con all the content and use Git to send and receive data from and to the GitHub repository. So this is what my website looks like. So it's basically just uh, rumuno.github.io where I've put all the uh, content. Uh, content is in this folder. It has some themes, some uh, settings that I wanted to use. And that's basically it. So uh, it's th this is the, the raw content, but this is missing the deployed static uh, the web uh, contents. So what I do is, um, so, uh, this is how I, if you go to the settings, oh wait, I'll just do this. Uh, if you go to the settings on your GitHub repo, you scroll down, you can turn your website, your uh, repository to into a uh, static webs, the static pages, GitHub pages. Super easy to do. Just make sure that you have an index.html there and everything happens from there. Uh, and I can, what I can do is I can create content, uh, take, take it locally, run it through Pelican, upload the content to the GitHub pages repository and Voila, right, Not easy peasy. But you have to do this loop. So you have to create the content, upload and maybe download again if you're on a different computer, run the pipeline, push it back up. So it's a hassle. What you want to do is you want everything to be done automatically. And you can use GitHub Actions for that. What are GitHub Actions? So this is basically it allows you to create your own workflow with your Git repository. And everything happens in a Docker container, uh, which you specify how to build, you specify which commands, and everything happens automatically. How do you do that? It's super easy. So, oh, um, so as you can imagine, GitHub Actions comes with a lot of predefined actions that others, other people have wrote. And there's a whole market for them. I think some are even 
premium features which you have to pay for, but others are basically, they come with GitHub uh, defined actions and some are free. And they can do pretty much anything you want. And there's also other actions that are available if you search the internet. Um, and how, how can you create your own manual actions? It's super easy. So you have your um, repository and you create a .github slash workflows folder. And in this folder, you put a, a YAML file, very simple. And this YAML file has a specific structure. There's a lot of documentation about how to build this. Um, but just to give you a, a, a quick preview, so uh, this is um, a workflow that tr is triggered when I do a push onto my repository uh, you, and that's specifically to a master branch. So if I push to a master branch, this workflow is, is triggered. And what it does is it runs on the latest Ubuntu, it installs Python using the uh, GitHub actions that are already predefined. So I don't have to go pip, um, um, uh, apt get install Python, whatever, and do all fancy stuff with it. So everything just comes with this command. And I've installed Python 3.7. Um, <clears throat> and then what I do, do is I check out the, all the history of this repository. And this works because this workflow also has a GitHub token available with your credentials. So anything, you, everything that happens in here happens with that token. So you can pull from the repository or push. So this is sort of magic that happens behind the scenes. You can also add your own credentials. Uh, if you are deploying to a, a, another service and you need a special credential, there's a safe way to do that. And then what I do is, uh, this is some caching going on. So if uh, there's no- Can you zoom in a bit? Sure. Thank you. So if, if you remember, I had a requirements.txt file there. So if I change it, this is skipped and cached again, but if nothing happens, it just takes cache as it is and skips this next step, installing the requirements, which is basically I install necessary packages to build my uh, static website. Next, I want to run Pelican. And if you remember from my previous slides, I did basically this here. So what I do is I run the content, uh, I run Pelican over the content of my um, files and I create a docs folder. So this is, so I create, basically I run the whole thing over with Pelican and it creates a docs folder. And this, this holds contents to my website, which I add to, to my uh, Git repository. So I do a regular Git add, Git commit and Git push. I deploy to a, uh, to a deploy, so master deploy. Okay, so that's basically what happens. And so it basically installs Python, it installs um, Pelican, it runs the website, uh, uploads everything. And then what I can do is I can show you. So this is the raw, right? The raw content. And then I have also a deploy branch, which also has another folder here. And this is docs. See, and th this holds HTML uh, files. And nice thing is that <clears throat> you also have actions. Just a second. Um, so when you click GitHub Actions, you have a, a list of all the actions that have been performed so far. Um, you can check every action for the details. So if anything fails, everything is in here. So you see it. I'll, I'll make it bigger. So you, here you can see the, all the actions available. Uh, so it installs Python. You can see the stack uh, up here. Uh, it checks for dependencies, runs Pelican. Uh, so it, it was performed successfully, even though it doesn't 
find something. And it pushes to GitHub. So this is all very familiar to you guys. And as a result, if you can remember in settings, I said that it, it can uh, serve a static website from a specific folder from a specific branch. And this is basically it. So, so this content here is being served to my website here. And when I do a push to GitHub, everything happens automatically and the changes are visible in maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Depends on how large the run is. Uh, so basically that's it. Uh, so using GitHub Actions is pretty easy. I encourage you to try it yourself. Um, if you have any questions, you can find me here, down here. Any questions? Maybe, maybe if you raise your hand. I have a question. So all of this Docker stuff, the Docker on the GitHub, it's just free? They just run it for you and that's it? Yeah, so there, there is some, um, you, have, you get some free runtime with every account, but you can also buy premium, of course, uh, if you want more minutes, more, sir, more um, containers, more everything. But I don't, I don't recall what the numbers are right now, so if somebody can look it up. Uh, but uh, for my needs, this is way more than I need. So you're on the, like the free tier, the free version? Um, I have a pro account, but I think it's, it's a lot of minutes, so. Cool. It's by minute. Interesting. I'm, sh I'm sure it says some here somewhere, so feel free to Google that on your own. Doesn't make sense if I Google for you. Cool. So we have some questions in the chat. Uh, Matthias is asking, um, do the GitHub Actions create another commit in the repo? Uh, yes, but only to uh, to the branch that you specified, and I I didn't I don't bother much uh, what's committed there, so I can, maybe I can show you what my history here looks like. So it's basically just one commit. Everything up to the last commit is squashed into this one. The squash is automatically, or did you set that up? No, this is just basically this is what I do when I um, when I uh, push to a new branch. Cool. But you you have you know you can do whatever you want here. All right. So we also have a question from Georg. How do you test this stuff? Do you have to every time you like make a change for this? Do you have to commit it and then? see like if everything worked and if it does you're okay and if not you debug it somehow yeah that's how i do it so basically i do a commit see the github actions uh, panel monitoring panel here uh, and it it tells you if it's running if it's broke if it's okay oh team me tell hmm? <clears throat> Hello, hello. Um, yeah, so most people, I guess, use this for testing purposes and deploying and uh, performing all sorts of uh, PR related stuff, but I use it to deploy my blog. Sorry, perhaps they missed it. Um, so where is the, where is the Docker container? The, uh, the GitHub uh, installs the Docker container, always a fresh one, pushes the, the files onto the Docker container, uses the container to build it, or can you please repeat that just in short? Yeah. Basically, that's it. It starts a fresh container, installs Python, Pelican, uh, put, pulls down the content, runs the pipeline, pushes everything up, and then destroys the container. And I, you can probably do some caching with this as well, but I'm not really sure. So you probably can have your own container uh ready somewhere 
and you can pull down that container that already has all the installed tools you want and just use that. <laughs> 